Solas, have you always lived alone? Out in the wilderness as an apostate? For the most part. Would that not be incredibly trying? People could be trying. Mankind most of all. That is an excellent point. Hey, don't even start thinking of stealing Cassandra away from Varric, Solas. Those two are meant to be together. And I, in this weird little my, set I've created for myself. Anyway, onward and upward to the Fallow Maya. Boy, this place is dark and gloomy. Ooh. Hang on, I got something I must stake. Somewhere. Up there. Curses. Wait, what's going on? Oh. Zombies. Oh crap, they're level 12. I should not be here yet. Got me a lot of experience, but this can't be all of them. There must be more further in. Probably. It's lovely. I probably should not have come here yet. I should probably have gone to Val Royo. Look, signs of a plague. It must have been a terrible illness. No one's come to reclaim the land. No one living, at any rate. Hmm. Well, maybe I should at least get the. Main quest here out of the way, and then I can always come back, I guess. Ooh, Light of Andraste. There's a wind weathered inscription on the statue. Commissioned in 655 storm by the illustrious Ban Hargrave, protector of the Fallow Mire, to commemorate the completion of her keep and to thank Blessed Andraste for her good fortune. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just quickly do this task, I guess, and... Ooh, boy. I'm not trying in the water because I instantly sink like a freaking log. I tried that out one time when there was a lake in the other area and I, I fell in. It didn't instantly kill me, but it definitely injured me. Ooh, Blood Lotus. Yeah, I need five of those. Boy, dark and gloomy. Ooh, it's over here. What the? Is that a beacon of some sort? All right. Something is odd about those rooms. But I cannot determine what. Veil fire. What manner of fire is that? I have heard of this, but never seen it before. It is called veil fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic, a memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. Interesting. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, these are a little easier, not as leveled. Too close. Die! That tree 
go away, tree. Back me up. Oh crud, I'm on low health. Draw out the undead. We could uh -oh. use them to fight on dry land. Keep an eye out for more then. Barrett, you alright, buddy? Ooh, what's this? Why did I suddenly turn into a Statue of Liberty? are interacting somehow with the flame from the torch. Ooh, what is this? Bellfire and the Falamar. The Bellfire messages in the Falamar are largely gibberish and imply a kind of paranoia. Certain letters and numbers repeat. It is possible the writing is in code. These Bellfire runes are interspersed with numbers and mathematical notations. They have a clear sense of panic and if the author was trying to figure out a, pro a difficult problem. Interesting. No, I think I am st I am greatly under leveled for this area at the moment. Solus, move your freaking elven ass! So gloomy out here. Something here. Let's look around. I think I'll come back to that. Aha! That took a while.
If Segret can get your back, and in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Farewell. Cool. No, I need Dawn Lotus for that. Fair enough. We just skip the whole formalities thing for now. We'll come back to that. Has Cassandra spoken to you about my new recruits? They are not your recruits, Commander. They're ours. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll dress the Chantry and Falrayo at the moment. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. Um... Well... I'm not worried. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. Mm. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Here, here. All right. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed. 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 Really. And at this moment, we could not step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. Let's convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Dron Drasse is not the monster they believe. Magma levels four to seven. All right. I can get back to the other parts later. Ooh, fancy. The city still mourns. Aw. Pretty. Nice hat. Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. Oh, aren't they a cute couple? My I... lady Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? Crap. People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. Ran circles and scream like a little girl. Now, most likely, we gotta go talk to them, I guess. They wish to protect the people from us? You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. 
not, not after, after all that has occurred. occurred. Return, Return to Haven. Haven. Someone, Someone will, will need to inform, inform them if we are delayed. As, As you, you say, my lady. I didn't even get a chance to speak. Alright, let's read this. Mafaras Bloodgill, beneath scratched by a vandal, and his head suddenly weighs too much. Nice. There's a bunch of plaques over here. So this one say? The avenue of her reflective thought inscribed upon a plaque. Our lady and the actress of her rise and fall. Her message and visage are worth repeating. So I guess that's Andraste. And this one. Mathras remorse. Beneath scratch my vandal head. Meeting a low door frame. What? Well, Mathras was the traitor who, you know basically killed his wife, so... My first regret, but he scratched my mantle about his unfortunate hair. And on this one, probably also scratched by a vandal, yep. And unrelated headache. Avenue of her reflective thought. The avenue is inspirational, but wise travelers do not linger in their respects, not just because the bazaar waits, but because the area before the back turned statue is, is treacherous. Local legend has it that the child empress Amy abused the opportunity of religious repose to re believe herself beneath the gaze of Our Lady, unable to discipline the toddling leader. Her attendants instead chastised the statues and had them turned in supposed embarrassment. True or not, foolish youths dare each other to soil the spot in similar fashion, and a place of otherwise reverent thought always carries a faint odor about it. Exerted and torn from a disposable walking tour of the capital by Philium a Bard. Nice. Not all of them are turned, though. Summer Bazaar. It seems rather dead. Like, there's no people walking around in stupid hats. That's kind of sad. Oh. Guess we know where I'm going. Good people of Val Royale, hear me. Together. We mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer when wonder no more. Behold, the so-called herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no elf in our hour of need. Hang on here. Let us talk peacefully. We came here in peace simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. Ah, uh, crud. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition, and the people will be safe once more. <laughs> that was actually kind of mean and funny at the same time. Still yourself. She is beneath us. Um... Um, not here for us, then? You're not here to deal with the Inquisition. As if there were any reason to. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Is that Tara Logan's voice? Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. 
The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. The voice sounds familiar. I don't know where, but I know that voice has been in one of these games before. Or in Mass Effect, I'm not sure, probably both. But, you know, I have Kellen. Templars, one of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. You're a mage. Your ties are worthless. They are all made traitors just by being in your company. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Screw you, buddy, and your ugly face. Charming fellow, isn't he? Yep. Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Well, his name's Lucius. I mean, have you not seen that game where you're playing the devil's son, killing everybody in the mansion? How well do you know him? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if he was the one in A Dragon Age Asunder, the one who basically told the Seekers, we're no longer part of the Chantry, and then was murdered by Cole. Uh, well, let's see. Um, will he see a reason? Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way. We should first return to Haven and inform the others. Hmm. Change your main's operation, all right. First things first, let me check all these places here. Wait. What's that? An arrow with a message? You might find friends among the stunned and reading. What's this? Favors for favors for friends. A message attached written in large flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I want to help, and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Valroyo. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe, and maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords, friends of Red Jenny. A poor dry location to the market is attached. Oh, Red Jenny, I remember. I did a quest for them in Origins. That was about it. That's a fast travel. I don't want to do that just yet. Hang on. Whoop. Ooh, I jumped over your hedges. Are you mad? Am I evil now? Let's see. La Pomme Vid and Mort. I apologize, my French sucks. It is said that the apples that grow near the gallows would be bitter on the tongue of a lover who would betray. It is also said, although by different people entirely, that unripened fruit should not be the only consideration when investigating matters of fidelity. The latter are lonely most evenings among the arbors of the summer bazaar. From our Elysian heart by formerly Sister Laudine. Okay. Hup. Another fast travel. I Hello. believe that messenger. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Um, thank you. First Enchanter Vivian. Oh, that's a party member. You are currently invited to attend my salon held at the Chateau of Duke Bastien de Gisson. Yours, Vivian de Fer, First Enchanter of Mont Simard, Enchanter of the Imperial Court. Excellent! Alright, so let me just. Is this a. Uh... Oh. That was a weird transition from dark to light. Emporium of Mortal Means. 
Black reads, For all matters, defensive concern, offensive intent, and study of arts martial and with sanction, magical. Interesting. So I guess anything of great interest in here? There's a merchant. Let's see what you got. I don't think I can really get much. Let's see, that takes level 13, so... Maybe another time. And that's the way back to the map. That's over here. Well, I got a few places to go. Is this, uh, which one is, well, those are Red Jenny ones all over the place here, so. You know, I do that first. I probably should have come here in the first place, but whatever. Le Mas de Leon. We cheer when honored as her might, but many more deserve a thought. For those she was the first a knight, her kin and kind have always fought. Plaque with dedication Le Mas de Leon, sponsored by Princess Corinne's first cavalier. For those we stood beside. In Interesting. My arms lies Let's look around. I think this Make is it. Not of heroes, Mafaroth and Sacrifice, Andraste Our Lady, the sword and the fire against Tevinter. Betrayed to the Empire in exchange for a kingdom, Mafaroth now is synonymous with treachery. But what Andraste have won, and if not, what would we have lost? Let us look not just at the act, but at the why of it. As the armies of faith pierced the Imperial homeland, it was revealed not as a wave, but as an arrow. And as any hunter will attest, if your aim is not true, there is no returning to the bow. We must consider how much of Our Lady's victory to this point was against true Imperium, and how much was against the echoes of Empire. Andraste, the inspiration, may not have considered such, but Mavroth, the general, fought for homeland, not visions. Was it victory or defeat that his betrayal held at bay? Mavroth made the deal that killed Our Lady. That is, in fact, and when Andraste died, Mavroth was gifted everything from the southern plains south. How generous and impossible to hold this must have seemed. Let us look on Mothroth and the legacy he divided amongst his sons, not with an eye for accusation, but from a tactical consideration. For he must have known that mere rivals had never stopped to venture. What if he set about creating peers and none of this was accident? How then found Isareth, Everin, and Verald? Third from a history not of heroes, readings in the ugly heart of change, collected by Philium, a bard. Very pretty, I might add. Very pretty. Hang on. Of course not. Found you! Favors for favors for friends. Different s simple script on the back of a staple report marked with red paint. Thank you, friend, for helping good lady Karis. So all those who asked about Harold and her third passage could not stay to see them exit. Also, what's this other thing that's flashing? Oh, is it you? Ooh, a dragon head! You heard. The head of Madame Snappy Snips. Mascot of Le Mas de Leon, named in jest, but genuinely respected. The Grand Mam, as she is also called, was the last dragon brought down by Sir Koenig, the previous owner of the cafe. Spirited hunter, Koenig came of age in the years following the sighting that named the era. That, uh, the era. While others were quick to assume the tales of ancient Navarre and dragon hunters must have been exaggerated, he tracked the gradual increase in dragon numbers and size. Koenig believed we had yet to see a true return of the Beast of Legend, and that the specimens of his day were young despite their ferocity. It is a cruel victory, but today we know Sir Koenig to have been correct, even as he may have fallen to his own expertise. He is, was, years overdue from his last hunt, and for the rest of us travel wary. What we thought to be the pinnacle of dragon strength may have been closer to adolescence. The sisters of Madame Snappy's nips may have left their sibling far behind. 
Served in tour from a disposable walking tour of the capital by filling him a bard. Fascinating. And the next one, what's this? Okay. I got places to go. Actually, why don't I do this really quick? There we go. Your sight in death make me one within you, glory. Oop. Sorry. God, I feel like I'm in Assassin's Creed 2 when they were doing the masquerade thing. Alright. 